Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yo, the Chi Chi in section eight about to kill me for this one, but we're about to uh, just expose the bounce and the sauce here, so let's do that. But real quick, if you guys are already subscribed, welcome back to another episode of Q-Timber. And if you're new here, if you guys can do me a favor, go down and hit that subscribe button. And right next to that is going to be a bell button. And if you hit that, you're going to be notified every single time I upload. And then you won't miss an episode of Q-Timber, which is basically this 30-day challenge I started for myself where I'm uploading every single day in September. But yeah, make sure you subscribe and turn the post notifications on. Stay tuned for that. But anyways, like I said, in this video, we're going to be going over how you can make a Chi Chi in Section 8 balance, kind of like something for a little baby, a little Dirk, even Polo G. I know it was really popular like a month ago. And I still think it's just a crazy bounce. It's like that triplet pattern. And uh, you basically hear like violins, trumpets, horns, pianos, anything like that. But uh, yeah, we're going to run over how you can make a melody. And then we're going to put some drums on top of that. Yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the process. We're going to do it from scratch. So let's jump in FL Studio and let's get started. All right, so first thing we're going to do here is just bring the BPM down to like 137. And then I'm going to go into my one shot kit and grab some kind of like piano. If you guys want to grab that so you can get the same sound. One shot kit is called Deserted, which is included in my multi kit full circle, which is a drum kit, loop kit, MIDI kit, and a one shot kit. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that I use all the time, like mixed up in between. Like I said, I'm going to grab this one right here called piano. And what we're going to do is just go into the envelope settings, bring the hold and release or bring the release all the way down, the hold all the way up and tack all the way down. We'll slide in the piano roll. And the way I make melodies is I go to this view section and I just turn this scale highlighting on. And we're just going to keep it at E minor natural. And I'm going to turn on metronome and we're just going to get like some bass notes going. I actually want this to be like this, a little shorter, and duplicate that over. And that's our bass layer right there. So we're going to track this out and just see if we could uh, change the sound up a little bit. I'm going to EQ out some of that bass. Now I'm going to grab a bell to just fill out the rest of the sound. Maybe we could just copy this over. We can pull the bass notes out of that bell. All right, then I picked this pad called Space Kid, and we're just going to copy the notes over again to fill out the sound even more. Right, so I changed it to a triplet beat and then I'm going to try and add like some just counter melodies here. So next I'm going to load up contact 
And then under this contact bank called Belkin Ethnic Orchestra, there is this thing called Gypsy Violin. Perfect, and you know what? Honestly, there's not too much more to add. I'm gonna see if I can find like some kind of pluck or L. Alright, and then that's pretty much the last sound, so I'm gonna add that to Mix Track 4, and then I'm gonna add a Valhalla Vintage Verb, and then K down. And I think I'm just gonna speed this up a bit, like 141. Last thing is, we're just gonna add a bass for my one shot kit. And we're just gonna copy the root note right here. We'll see. Get up. So what I did here is I routed all the melodic parts to this mixture track right here And you do that by just right clicking some mixture track button and click route to this track only And I just EQ'd out that low end Yeah, so the loop is done So now we're just going to stem it out and everything And render it and then open a new FL Studio patch So I'm just going to duplicate this over a few times Then you can render this by hitting Control shift r on your keyboard And I always render my loops as a wave and an mp3 Alright, so now let's open a new FL Studio patch and we're going to pull that loop in so I'm going to just head over to my loop folder, drag this in, change the BPM to 139. And then the way I work with loops is I always just split up the stems. So we're going to do that. And then before we actually do the drums, I'm just going to duplicate this over and then take the bass out and duplicate it over again and then take like the lead and other stuff out. And then I'm going to make an intro. So I'm going to, I'm going to make the bass unique. We're going to route that to mixture track one. And then the rest of the melody, we're going to route to mixture track two. And on mixture track two, I'm going to add a fruity love filter. We're going to leave pretty much everything the same, but we're going to, Bring this cutoff all the way down, create an automation clip, and then create an automation clip on the mix knob. And we're gonna have it go like this. Or 
Perfect, and then we're just gonna loop this part and we're gonna add this pattern in here. Boom, and let me show you guys how, I wanna say almost like simple, but it's just, it's a really quick drum bounce to do. So we're gonna go to my drum kit, of course, which is called Euphoria. I know a lot of you guys already have it. My favorite drum kit by far, but available at quindababa.com. The so first thing we're gonna add is a hi-hat. We're gonna use this one called Clips for my kit. And we're gonna go to the piano roll. First, I'm gonna click one note in, and we're gonna make sure it's on one third of a beat. And all you do is just click B to grab the paint tool, and paint this pattern in right here. And then we're gonna grab a clap and apply the default clap pattern. And then we're gonna do some like hi-hat rolls. I'm gonna change it to a third of a step, something like this maybe. And then we're just gonna duplicate that over, turn it up a bit, and then I'm gonna pull this out knob up. And we're gonna grab a snare. Alright, and then I'm just going to duplicate this over. And then we're already onto the 808, so I'm going to grab this 808 from my kit called Spin Cycle. Turn it up, bring the out knob up a tad bit. And then usually you get the root note by bringing the 808 up an octave, but we already know it because we just made the melody. We can try like a little triplet pattern here. And what I'm going to do here is change the envelope settings on the 808 to look like this. We can do some cool little 808 tricks like this. And then uh, pretty much the last thing we're gonna do is just add a kick to really top it off right here. We'll, we'll duplicate that over and finally we'll just do a little open hat. And then I think I'm gonna go back into this hi hat and just open it up a bit.
that's a little bit better. There we go, and we'll just duplicate that over. Perfect, now we'll just arrange this. So yeah, we're just gonna duplicate that over. Uh, let's see, twice probably. Yeah, two times. And that's the whole B right there. Hey, Perkins right on my heater. Perkins right on my heater. Turn that little right now, eat him. Perkins right on him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Perkins right on my heater. Turn that little bitch to a eater. Uh, eating some good ass dinner. I'm talking about all of these shrimp for heaters. I'ma go fuck on that bitch if I need him. I got this trap with a eater. Fuckin' this bitch till I get it. I hit it one time, then I blow that bitch back out. Blow that bitch back out. I don't wanna go in, just black out. I'm gonna go fuck me up. I'm gonna go fuck me up, bag and then go. I'm gonna go fuck me up, bag. Hit me the top of the bag. Slide that little bitch on the ass, and I'm back to the trap, and I'm back to the hood, and I'm back to this bitch, and I'm. I got a silver spin of once. I keep it dope. I keep it 30 right under my heel. Get it right under my heel. Yeah, yeah, I mean that glass in it. Shrimp for heaters. I turn that bitch right to a eater. I'm on the track and I shoot you right back if you understand what I mean when you say it. You wanna run from the cops? I got a, I got a car. I got a car from the eye. I got a car from the eyes. I got a, uh, yeah. I got a car from the eyes. Last night told me two things. I don't wanna hear about it. I got a car from the eyes. I got a car from the eyes. Pick up my phone, now I see y'all. Pick up my phone, I hear the uh, yeah. I got that dial tone coming in. Call on my phone, you the ops. Uh, fuck on my block. I got this bitch on my nigga, she suckin' my cock. Yeah, yeah. Blow it up right from the back. Blow it up right from the back. I keep these perkies right under my clip. Uh, perkies right under my Smith and Wesson. Perkies right under my Smith and Wesson. Talking, I'll send you right up to heaven. I got this bitch on my dick and she said that she like another love. Alright guys, so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I think this beat turned out really cool. I actually really enjoy making these. The bounce is fun. I mean, like I said, I think the beats are pretty simple to make. It's a super dope bounce, but something like this isn't too crazy, and it's definitely pretty easy to do. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this one, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to make sure that you don't miss a video for Q-Timber, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you turn on the post notifications. But like I said, that's all I got for you guys right now. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Doses.